Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7. This is episode 14. So we just finished the yearling sale. You can see I spent all of my money. So let's take a quick look. Brackendale, uh, mm, not looking very good. That's going to be a sale horse. Standing Order, mm, no, I think that's going to be a selling horse too. And Gara, not horrible, but I don't think at this phase of the game, this is what we're looking for. So that's going to be a sale. Lingerie, I should keep just on principle, but I'm not. Oh, good constitution. It actually has some cruising burst. Extra speed's a little lacking, but yeah, nothing there. Kalahari Desert. You know, there's some stuff to like, but everything's just lacking. Just lacking. Falnalter. No, that one was a falter from the get-go. And I ran out of money. I did want Common Request. That was the last one I was going to bid on. Uh, of course, we can't see the actual ratings. So we are done for the season. All right, so let's get in and look at some races. I haven't scheduled them yet. We've got Putin going. Um, we are, let's see. So Miss Aura, we want a six furlong. Actually, I'd like a five furlong if we can find it. Five furlong on dirt. I think that would be an interesting one. So we've got either the listed stakes. Now, the last time she ran a stakes race, she finished last. But she did just finish win a grade three. But that's why I'm thinking the stakes may be the, the thing she can't handle. We've got an allowance race. Oh, well, that's the listed stakes. Or we've got the merchant's grade two at Turfetine in South Africa. Let's go ahead and enter her there. All right. Amthal. We want to run him at a mile. Now, he, he finished fourth in a grade two. He won a handicap. Do they have anything for him? So he is at a 77. So I've got another handicap in Illinois. That's possible. Yeah, I don't think I want to go there. Well, South Africa, you just never know. I've had, hor I've had horses run good against all South African uh, entries. I've had, I've had them look really bad. That's the biggest problem. Grade two, grade three. How has she done on grade threes? Four, third, third at seven furlongs. Maybe we go for that one. Let's go ahead and enter. Let's do that. Okay. Cashmere Brown coming off the fifth place finish on turf. Five furlongs. Selling race handicap. That's on dirt. That's on turf. Do we want another handicap? It's better than nothing, I suppose. I think we're going to enter in. That's dirt. Uh, so I've got dirt here where we would be the best rated horse. On this one, we would be turf. 
we'd still be the best rated horse. So let's go there. And I want... Let's go ahead and put two non on there. All right, third half. He won the mile. Now, he's bred at seven furlongs, but here's why they, uh, I forget who, but you guys know from the beginning of last episode, they told me to run him at a mile because he had really poor starting ability and really, you know, it's on the lower end of acceleration. So, yeah, there's, there's, you know, this horse is not as good as I was kind of thinking, which is bad, but he does have extra speed rating. So that's always a possibility. So let's look at a mile for him. And we want let's see 87 rating, so that would be up against the top. Grade two selling race, selling race, grade one, we're not going there. Didn't we win the Cranji? We won the Cranji Mile. Well, the Cranji Yearling Stakes. Do we go back to Cranji for the mile and try to win that? There's some really good horses in there. I'm going to say that's going to be a no. Got a lot of foreign horses coming in for the big money race. We've only got one that really outpoints us here in Orienter. Well, there's a couple. 92 for Gomrath. We're at 87, though. Hmm. Grade 2. You know what? That's... Let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You know, that way we get, you know, we get at least a money shot. It's probably stupid, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we've got all of our horses booked. This will end our season because this is going to take us into the end of November. There might be a couple of races that we could sneak in at the end of December we'll look actually this is vanilla i don't even know if we go into december doesn't it end right after thanksgiving might so this is going to be end of season i believe so let's save all of our racing changes all righty let's get out to our next race we have cashmere brown going not a favorite, and this is going to be a class five handicap, five furlong race. That's a big field, isn't it? Wow. All right, there's Cashmere Brown. We're carrying 10 pounds more than the next closest horse. That's going to be rough. Now, there was something about, do you guys have any suggestions on picking a jockey? So I was looking at just the skill and honesty ratings but there was something in there about dead weight and live weight that chris mentioned so and he so he was looking at a certain uh you know trying to find a jockey at a certain weight or as close to a certain weight i'm not sure what he was talking about so if you have any insight hit me up in the comments It'll educate me a little bit but we are not the joint favorite. We're not too far off the pace here. So five furlong handicap, up to 80 rating for three-year-olds only on turf. Look like we're in the middle of the field here. We got off good. We're out to an early lead. We settle in, so that's good. We drift over towards the rail, but we're getting uh, pinned back with the rear pack here. Not 
a big fan of that. Now we're in the trailing pack. On the rail, last place, two furlongs. Are we going to be able to make a move? We are way back there. El Disa, I can't even read it. El Disa C is making a run at the one furlong. We're in the rear of the pack. That's not looking good. We're bringing up the trail. It's El Disa C and Wyndham Wave at the wire. And we are going to be dead last by two lengths behind the horses right in front of us. That's bad. Settled early, last halfway, outpaced at the finish. We're the only one that didn't make any money today. That's too bad. Outclassed. Okay, so let's finish out the day. No money for auctions. And let's go check Kashmir Brown here. So not a very good starter at all. You know what? I think we're going to, yeah, I think we're just going to have a few better horses next year. So let's go ahead and sit, send this one out to auction. I just, you know, I don't see any reason to hold on to it. it hasn't won any money for us. Uh, lowest earner on the books. Putin might be the next on that list. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next race. We're going to have three horses going all overseas so we have miss aura amthal and third half back-to-back -back races none of them are favorites that's kind of scary all right miss aura is up first carrying the least weight with two other horses magic user and sue's dream we are coming off a win one of only two horses summer holiday is the other and these are some veteran horses here, four, five, and six years old. We're actually picked by one. And Miss Aura Keen, slightly agitated. Not good. Not good. Don't like being agitated. Yep. She doesn't like being agitated either. All right. This is a right-hand turn course. All right. We're starting way on the outside. Pulls up immediately, really reined her back. We get into the middle of the track. We need to make up some ground. All right, we are closing. All right, there is Rock City dropped way off the pace. One furlong. Now we're next to last. She is just not running good today. These look like camels from a distance, don't they? That one especially. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Well, at least we came in with the chase group, not the trail. One, two, three, four, five. We finished just outside the money. Three lengths back of consistent. That was not a good run. All right. We took a shot at it. We took a shot at it. All right. Amthal, middle of the pack here. Parading well. All right, the whole field looks pretty good. Now, I, again, I've heard that it's hard to go and run against the foreign horses. I don't know if the travel has something to do with it. But we have run, you know, we have seen me run well with horses overseas. But we've also seen us get blown out of the blocks like we just did. So... All right, let's save that. Go race. Amthal, what can you do for us today? All right, this is a Phillies Mile, grade three. Three-year-olds on turf. The outside track. We're starting on the rail. Kind of a slow break. Kind of a slow break. We get out on the lead, you know, with, with uh, the top four horses. We do have the rail. That's good. All right. Grecian Air pulls up and, get, you know, we're going to have to make some room. All right. Three furlongs to go. We're nosed into second. All right. Horse on the outside is Night Woman takes the lead. 
Looks like Varkala was going to make a run. And where where are we? We just uh, we just disappeared. We fell way off whatever pace there was at the furlong pole. We are dead last by about seven lengths. This is starting to look like the field is secretariat and I'm every other horse. That was brutal. That was brutal. I don't care about the form. We didn't win any money. No chance. So this looks like one of those uh, overseas trips that we are just not going to bode well in. Now, third half. Can he make up for everybody else? Orienter is the one in the money. He's coping well. Third half, moving well. Um, tell you what, I am going to max to show. And orienter, max to win. All right, let's go race. Probably the final race of the season. Pretty large crowd as well. We are fourth and we break dead last. We move up. We keep our position at least, but... There are two defined ranks of horses. We are going to have to find a way to break through that wall. Let's see what happens. Starting to spread out in the front. We may have found a lane there. And we could pop outside just a little. All right, we're making a little bit of a move there. Can Do we have anything left? All right, definitely just two horses out front. We're fading off of that chasing pack, and we're drifting off. That's going to be it. Oh, my goodness. Boy, this horse, Orienter. Well, we'll win some money out of him at least. Third half is in the third half, or the bottom third. There we are right there. Wow, that was... Not pretty. All right. Orienter, $150,000, four and three quarter lengths. We won five. No, we did not. Oh, my God. We finished just out of the money. Five lengths behind Huckleberry. Ugh. I, that's 10, 11, 12 lengths back. Oh, that was brutal. Trip suited perfectly, struggled in the grade. All right, well, that was all the horses today. We've got one more on the 20th. Let's go ahead and save that. Although this would be a good time for a game crash, wouldn't it? <laughs> if we were into that. Putin, where are we at? We are in Pomona. <coughs> Wow, we are long shots. Da, da, Dawa? Putin is coping well and fit. All right. Daw, we're going to make a max to win. And Putin, I am going to do a max to show. And Dawa and Putin, uh, we are going to do... straight forecast all right we'll do three bets here let's get out there to race a one mile handicap left turn on the dirt we're on the rail broke well everybody's bunched up pretty even don't tell mum takes the early lead monostar and big sir moving out as well long way to go we are holding our spot on the rail don't tell mum is on the rail too we've got cotton king and big sir right outside of us we're gonna have to find a hole here looks like we found one at the three furlong 
Can we get through there, or is Cotton King going to hem us in? Or does he have just too much for us? I think he's got too much for us. Here comes Inchberry. No, we are making a move. It is Don't Tell Mum out front. Inchberry and Putin and Daw coming up on the outside. One furlong to go. It's Daw out front. We're making a push for second. Oh, we could win the money. We may not win the race, but we could win the money. Please let us win the money. And we do. I think we just won the straight forecast. I haven't won one of those before. Yes, it is. Nice. All right, let's look at our single bets. All right, so we had Daw to win. We won $50,000. <coughs> we had Putin to show, so we won 11000 And we had the Exacto. We won 30000 on a $3,400 bet. 29000 out, hundred and twenty, almost 121000 in. $91,000 in profit. <coughs> and... Mid division halfway, stayed on. Two and a half lengths back, but we stayed a half ahead of Inchberry, who had a tardy start. So we kind of got lucky. Kind of got lucky there. And we were just beginning to pick up towards the end. So I wonder if. Well, it was a mile. I think that's a pretty solid run of races. I mean, in the money all five times. I think the mile is where we have found our spot. So, winning-wise, Miss Aura, 183, almost 184,000. Most of that did come from another stable. Anthal, as a three-year-old, 27,000. Third half, almost to the 100,000 mark. And our lone two-year-old that's left is Putin. I wonder if I should have sent him out to pasture. Uh, let's see. Racing stable. Breeding. I don't have anybody in the field, do I? I don't. Yes, I do. I have three horses in the field. All right. Dominant, Benru, Adventure, and Malio. So we'll see what these guys do as three-year-olds. Dominant was a really good starter. Not great in acceleration. Right on the cusp of that extra speed rating. Benru Adventure, very good starter. Pretty solid acceleration. Just really doesn't have the potential. Um, this would be a horse. Really good extra speed. I think if we could breed this one with one with a really good potential. And maybe a little more extra speed might make a good breeding filly. But, you know, I think we need to race her as a three-year-old and see what we can do with her. Malio. Really poor starter. Acceleration is okay. And again, right on the cusp of, of everything. So again, this is one I'm, I'm kind of looking at as a breeder. But, you know, we need to run her, see if we can top her out. And uh, get a couple of wins if we can figure it out. So, let me know who should we keep. Who should we sell. Who should we just retire from the game? And am I making the right call on those fillies, running them as three-year-olds, and then looking to put them in the barn? Some of their ratings look really good. I just don't know if they're really good enough to be consistent winners. And that's that's the concern. Uh, we do have, uh, what, we've got 48 yearlings to go through. Uh, so I will deal with that off camera. We will have 17 new horses coming in, uh, in full. And we put together a pretty decent looking breeding stable from a, the aspect of 
you know, having won races, right? And we talked about age earlier. So none of them are over eight years old. So I think we've, we're kind of in, in those prime years. And I am going to be interested to see how our, let me take a picture of this real quick so I can refer to it later. Uh, Sovereign Debt, our, our stud, I wonder how he is, no, it's Van Doesburg. What was I? One. So we've got three by Van Doesburg. It'll be interesting to see how they how they pan out. So let's see. Impassive could be a better starter. Yeah, she's she's actually not very good. I think we get rid of her next year. And I'm gonna have to weed some of these out. But but does Van Doesburg does he have anything? He's got extra speed, finish consistency, adaptability on the surface, constitution. He's got pretty solid potential if we can get somebody with something up over 75 to maybe carry him a little bit. Uh, so let's take a look at the other one. Young Jackie, very good starting, very good acceleration. Right there at potential, extra speeds right there. I think we could have a pretty nice horse there out of young Jackie. And then the last one was Isis or Isis. Not a good starter at all. Very, very good acceleration. Not much in the way of potential. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see if she draws him back or if he raises her up when it comes to foals. Well, guys, we're going to call it a season there. I'm not going to race in December. I don't even know if you can. Let's uh, just, just for, no, November 25th, last race of the season. Nobody's going to be ready to race in four days. So hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. And I have a lot of leg work in front of me to go through those new two-year-olds, uh, which I'll be doing here in just a few minutes, I guess. Take care. Bye.